okay right now we are in node 1 and uh, let us see which node is active refresh the cluster okay the node 1 is currently processing it is active and node 2 should be passive so we can install service pack on node 2 okay let us go and see node 2 if the services are down yeah the services are stopped in the node 2 so we should install service pack on the passive node okay if we if, if we need to install service pack 1 on node 1 then we have to manually fail over the cluster from node 1 to node 2 and install the service pack on the node 1 okay but uh, there is no preference right now we are going to install service pack 1 sql server 2008 service pack 1 on node 2 okay before installing service pack uh, we need to set the possible owners the reason is while installing service pack if there is an unplanned failover and node 1 goes down then cluster will automatically fail over the services to node 2 while, during the installation so in, the installation might fail and system might corrupt so what we need to do we need to go to the cluster management tool select the sql server resource group select the network name right click and select the properties go to the advanced tabs and remove the node 2 okay that way if there is any failover happens then it will not move the services to node 2 okay if, if the node 1 goes down then cluster goes down database will not be accessible okay but in the but here we are going to make sure that service pack should be installed successfully so we need to remove that particular node for now after installing the service pack then we have to come here and enable the node okay so now I'm going to install service pack 1 on node 2 disable that remove the check mark and click apply and say okay go to the node 2 and start installing service pack 1 stop the SQL server browser because there might be uh, security uh, patches or anything there might be updates to browser so just stop it otherwise uh, service pack is going to uh, complain that uh, this particular service is active go and stop it so now uh, we have the software on node 1 mission so yeah we have that path here click ok okay I think we need to in the node 1 we have plugged the USB drive onto the node 1 so we have the software on this node what we need to do copy the service pack onto the C drive because H drive cannot be uh, accessible on node 2 because this is not locally connected so copy the service pack onto the C drive maybe to the okay I'll directly copy onto the C drive okay now we have this sp1 on node 1 c drive go to the node 2 and uh, we can access uh, c drive node 1 c drive and you can see that here double click that okay click run It is extracting the, the service pack on this machine after we install the service pack it will delete that extract folder so we don't need to worry about cleaning up the, the directory that it is uh, extracting
Okay, we can close this SQL Server Configuration Manager. We don't need this window. Even failover management tool, we don't need that. The reason why I'm closing all the windows because uh, I don't have much memory for these uh, virtual machines. I just allocated 512 MB RAM. So that is the reason why the SQL Server installation is taking a long time. Okay, click next. As usual, we never read license. Click next. Uh, you can click on each and every option here and see if this is fine. Upgrade status not installed, not installed. Application not installed shareable features not installed so we are good to go so you can read the patch level okay before that uh, let us verify the patch number the rtm patch number for sql server okay i think it will take some time we'll go to node to and start installing Click next. So in this step it is going to verify if there are any files that need to be that needs to be updated or locked. If any services are running the browser or database engine the agent it will let us know. But, but right now I have stopped all those services now we are good to go. Okay. Now I'm in node 1, I'm going to verify what is the RTM number, the patch, uh, the version number. Uh, I am connecting to the cluster for SQL Server. Let us go to the node 2. Okay, it is still verifying the files. Okay, this step is completed. There are no issues. Click next. We are going to update service pack one on this node two now. So database engine services, replication, full text, whatever, whatever on this cluster can be upgradable. It will be upgraded. So click update. and it will take some time to update
okay the service pack has been updated click next and that's pretty much it now the node 2 is updated with service pack 1 now we need to manually fail over the services from node 1 to node 2 and update the service pack 1 on node 1 now let us uh, open the failover cluster Expand the services and application. Select the SQL Server group and move the group to the node 2 because we just applied the service pack 1. Oh, it cannot move because the possible owners we have removed. So it will fail. Say cancel, go to the SQL Server network name. advanced policy select node 2 uncheck node 1 because now we are going to apply the service pack on node 1 even we don't okay that is fine uncheck that click ok error saving one yeah because uh, currently node 1 is processing we cannot remove it so keep it say ok move the services to node 2 Yeah, the SQL Server service and Agent service both are up and running on Node 2. Now we can right click, select properties, oh sorry, not this, uh, the SQL Server network name. Right click that, select properties, go to advanced policies, uncheck the Node 1 and apply. It should work fine because now Node 1 is not doing anything now with this cluster. So now go to the Node 1 and apply service pack 1 on this machine Click next.
I think it will take some time to apply the service pack 1 on this machine. I will pause the video here and I will continue after installing service pack 1.